uh, hello dear students in today's lecture we will uh, perform an experiment uh, called fisher esterification and we will uh, synthesize isoamyl acetate and ester from an alcohol so it's basically uh, the production of ester from the alcohol and it's called fisher esterification so uh, we will use isopentyl acetate or isoamyl acetate I uh, will uh, prepare so in this experiment um, we will synthesize this and this is an ester which has an OR group and O, o group carbonyl group so and uh, it smells like banana well so uh, it is often referred as, as banana well so what is this esterification so this esterification is a form of ester which is an equilibrium reaction which can be shifted either forwards or backwards i mean it's, it can uh, form more products or it can uh, reverse and form more reactants also so since this equilibrium the equilibrium doesn't necessarily favor the quantity formation so we will use the lachetelier's principle uh, to get our desired product because from, from the last theory principle we know that we can uh, uh, increase the product uh, or increase the reactant uh, as per our requirement and uh, we can done this by various ways so we can also done this by uh, using an excess amount of starting material and usually acetic acid because it is less expensive and also we use we can use uh, sulfuric acid uh, which can enhance the reaction rate and by helping binding the water produced so the synthesis of isopentyl acetate is um, we can uh, synthesize it by, um, by 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 extraction and then um, uh, sodium bicarbonate and water we we'll use for um, for purify purifying the distillation product and so this is the main mainly this is the reaction you can see we will use uh, a strong sulfuric acid uh, uh, as a proton donor and and this is uh, our uh, uh, this is our uh, alcohol uh, i mean icml alcohol so when the proton reacts with this uh, it forms a carbocation and this all of these reactions equations are equilibrium in is in equilibrium state you can see so when you use the acetic acid uh, or glycyl acetic acid or something so mm, as excess amount of and with alcohol so it basically forms the ester so in these steps is basically just a proton transfers proton donor uh, proton uh, donating and accepting uh, occurs and also water removal uh, from all of this this process and and <clears throat> so this is the um, a clear very uh, clear image of the reaction procedure uh, so in this reaction procedure we we use uh, sulfuric acid as a proton donor a strong sulfuric acid because a lot of proton uh, donation is required in this reaction and we will use an excess amount of acid acid acetic acid uh, and uh, alcohol and we will get our desired product so we'll talk about it so this is the best slide i think to, uh, to understand the lachetelier's principle so let's see now here these two are our reactant and these two is our product so this reaction is in an equilibrium equi equilibrium state okay so if we want a specific product uh, so we have to uh, drive this reaction like uh, some something like that uh, we get our desired product much more so if we just remove the water from this reaction so so the reactants will um, pro uh, produce more of the of the desired product 
also we can yeah, add more of the reactants to pro uh, produce uh, more of our desired product so and also you can see the, the ester is very volatile so the best approach is to distill out the ester while the reaction is underway and also we can use uh, an excess of cheapest starting compound and in this activity we can add excess acetic acid and also add sulfuric acid so this is the main reaction if you want to see and what is the effect of sulfuric acid uh, actually sulfuric acid is a strong strong acid and it catal catalyzes the reaction and makes the reaction go faster and it has a strong attraction attraction for water so it helps uh, shifting the reaction to right by binding strongly to the water produced in the reaction so you can see here water is produced so if we, we use sulfuric acid so it attracts the water molecule and attracts it and so that um, the product and this will be uh, minimized from the reaction and the reaction rate will transfer to the right side that means this product will be um, produced much more uh, and the, the, the uh, using the Lachatelis principle the reaction rate is uh, the, the reaction move, move is uh, transferred from left to right uh, you can see how sulfuric acid attracts water because it attracts water and form hydronium ion and hydronium bisulfate and so this is very important in a fissure esterification reaction so uh, for for the experiment uh, you can use a beta null from the textbook or so isomer alcohols I, I will uh, explain the isomer alcohol so you need to take 2.64 gram or 3.26 or 27 ml of isomer alcohol which is 0 0.03 moles and you have to take three times excess of glycyl acetic acid we already talked about how why we need an um, excess amount of acetic acid because it's cheapest and it helps us uh, helps the reaction to move uh, forward to, to, to get our desired product more uh, okay so so let's uh, so the reflection reflection assembly uh, and we will use the heating mantle here and the uh, rb flux uh, where we add 3.26 to 7 to 7 ml isomer alcohol which we already took 2.64 gram and excess amount of glycyl acetic acid and concentrated sulfuric acid and some boiling chips and after that um, add a water um, cooled condenser and heat to boiling boiling temperature uh, for at least 60 minutes so so and open open the top of the uh, cover uh, so <clears throat> so <clears throat> the, that so that the water can can remove from this reaction after uh, after uh, after completing and heating mentally supported on ring to ring stand so it can be lowered quickly if necessary so the ring clamp will be used and so and remember that the glacial acetic acid and sulfuric acid is very dangerous uh, and uh, it has a uh, health issue so so use is very uh, carefully uh, handle it with care so some tips uh, we can use uh, like when you weigh, weigh out the isomer alcohol it's better to weigh uh, uh, weigh as a 2.64 gram uh, because 3.27 ml is a little bit uh, critical to take by the pipette so try to weigh the um, isomer alcohol and for sulfuric acid you need to take 0.4 ml sulfuric acid so either you can use the micro pipette uh, uh, to take uh, 400 microliter of sulfuric acid uh, on it, and also it's better to use a dropper um, uh, to uh, because one drop of liquid uh, usually take 0.05 ml so you take uh, if you take eight drops of sulfuric acid it will uh, cover your desired 0.4 ml of sulfuric acid so and also use uh, ice bath after reflection after uh, after uh, reflux the reactions ice bath will uh, to, for, for, for cooling the uh, product and after that washing with uh, water your, 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 your product I add with water and uh, just uh, use it using a separator separatory funnel to uh, to shake and and to remove the aqueous layer uh, from lower side 
and and uh, take your upper upper layer for, for your product and after what you know, washing with the water you, you should wash with uh, sodium carbonate in the similar process and and get your uh, product from the upper layer and after that you need to dry it and transfer into uh, a filter paper um, so you may have a small amount of product so so you may want to use a test tube instead of a beaker it will uh, it will lessen the the amount of loss of your product because because in organic chemistry actually the the percent of yield is very important uh, uh, for, for your reaction and also when, when we, you use pentane uh, um, but use it very carefully because it is very volatile so don't open the bottle just use the pentane and close the bottle after getting after what you need so and and after that you need a simple distillation to separate the pentane and uh, your product uh, the ester which is um, isoamyl acetate and we know that the boiling point of pentane is 36 degree very low boiling point it's very volatile and the boiling point of isoamyl alcohol is 142 degree so when you uh, heat um, uh, heat the heat in the reflux uh, so is easily the um, pentane will uh, come out first and you need to collect it in one test tube and after the temperature is raising to uh, more than 50 60 degree and to up to 142 degree then your all of uh, the isoamyl alcohol acetate will be transferred into your test tube so you can collect uh, in two test tube for for the pentane and the isoamyl alcohol so this is the uh, lecture of how we can uh, uh, use a fissure esterification reaction uh, to uh, to um, synthesize the ester isoamyl acetate from isoamyl alcohol so i hope you guys enjoy it and if any question just email me uh, thank you have a nice day